what's going on you guys and welcome to another video in this video you guys i'm going to be showing you how i spiced up my shirt it was a regular shirt um a lot of you probably have seen me wear this shirt in a lot of previous videos that i've done but if you guys would like to see how i spice up this shirt stay tuned for this video make sure you guys subscribe and click that bell button so that you never miss a video that i upload and also follow me on instagram and we're gonna get started with this video i don't have the same exact shirt well, it's not the same color, but I have it in this tan color and I've had this for so many years and I was going to throw the shirts away. And then I thought, you know what, let me try to fix it up and make it look good and different so that I can have a reason to keep it. So this is the brown version of this shirt and I cut the sleeves on it. But I've done that. I did that a long time ago just because I wanted it to be different and um, I was going to throw it away like twice before so i was like okay let me just um fix it up but now i'm ready to do something different with it so i'm about to show you guys how i fixed up this shirt and it's really simple i just wanted something that would show off my tattoo because i don't get to show it off often so all you're gonna need is a shirt any type of shirt you want it doesn't have to be this kind of shirt but the nicer the shirt the better it's gonna turn out to be like the nicer the quality so just get yourself a shirt preferably a half shirt so that you can use less uh, chains and i don't know where you would find a chain that looks like this but i have like 20 chains on two different dresses that have these exact chains on them so i'm just gonna pull one off of the dress and i'll show you the dress i got it from hot miami styles and actually this shirt is from hot miami styles as well and i'm gonna be using these scissors you don't need anything specific honestly these work perfectly fine and I'm also about to get the dress so that I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. So this is the dress that I actually got it off of. Well, actually I got it off of the black dress, but since I'm doing this again, I'm gonna take it off of this dress. And basically this dress is pretty much cut just like I'm gonna cut my shirt. This whole side is covered with these chains. So I'm just gonna take one off of the bottom and I'm gonna add it to the shirt when I'm all finished. Honestly, you guys, I wanna do this with a white tee but I don't have any white tees, so I'm gonna, eventually, I don't know if I'm gonna make a video because I'm making a video right now about it and it's like a quick tutorial. If you guys would like to see that, if you would like to see me spice up any other outfits or any other things, just let me know because I can also do it with pants or anything like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna take one off of the bottom right now. Honestly, these are really cute pins. I love these and I've never actually seen these before. So yeah, that's all I did. I took it off of the bottom of this and I'm gonna sit that to the side and I'm gonna put this dress back. Now, you guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I found the middle and I'm just gonna cut along the middle and cut it all the way up. All I'm doing is cutting up the middle Literally just cutting up the middle of this shirt. And the neater you do it, the better it'll be, obviously, because then you won't see any flaws. But honestly, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's still gonna look really good regardless, just because of the type of shirt that it is. So, what I was thinking about doing before I cut the gray shirt was I was going to cut it all the way to the top. I was literally going to cut it all the way through and then put two of them right there. But I was like, you know what? Something, I don't know, it's just something, something's just telling me to leave it and not actually cut it all the way up. So I decided to leave it that way. So this is a shirt. I pretty much, I finished it. It was that simple, you guys. Literally, you don't have to do much of anything if you wanna spice up your shirts and stuff like that. It's really simple to do. So I have this kind of across the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this shirt on so that I can know exactly where I wanna put my pin. So yeah, I'm just gonna put the shirt on really quickly and then I'm gonna put the pin on. Okay, you guys, so I have the shirt on. And as you can see, it's actually cute like this, but I think it would be better if I actually had a pin on it because 
honestly with a shirt like this it would probably just fall off or you know like lift up and then my boobs would be everywhere so i'd rather just be on the safe side you guys so okay i'm going to figure out where i want to put it oh this shirt is so cute like this though you really don't even need the pin like you really don't that is so cute but i think the chain honestly adds a little spice and adds something different so i'm going to I'm gonna make sure I'm not putting the pin directly at the end because you don't want it to end up breaking. So I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle and then I'm gonna match it to the opposite side. So, yep, I just put the pin through and then fasten it and secure it and there you go you guys honestly that is so cute i love it look at me i'm never gonna throw away any of my shirts anymore i'm gonna fix up all of my shirts and pretty much one of these dresses are not gonna have these things on it because i swear i'm gonna put this on like every shirt i create <laughs> that I like that I think is cute so yeah you guys this is the final look of my shirt I hope that you enjoyed this mini tutorial on how I spiced up my shirt let me know what you think in the comment section below thumbs up this video let me know if you like this video let me know if you like to see more creative videos like this love you guys so much and I will catch you guys in my next video